Hey guys, Chad at Pizza RV Center here today. Exciting day, we got the brand new 2012 Sprinter 311 bunkhouse. The one with the new front cap on it, the one with all the new upgrades to the interior here. We're gonna take you through and show you today what, it's, what the new changes are in it. You know, Keystone constantly innovating that Sprinter product. Um, I got my buddy Joe, he's gonna let us know a little bit on the construction of the Sprinter product, uh, why the 311 is our best selling travel trailer at our dealership, and many other things too. He's just a, a wealth of knowledge, so. We'll get Joe, we'll head inside here, we'll take you guys around the camper. Hey guys, exciting day at the dealership today. Chad Shepard here, Joe Vartuli, Pizza RV Center. Um, exciting news, we've got the brand new 2012 Sprinter 15th Anniversary Edition in, something we've been waiting for. Uh, it's probably the, one of the first ones in the country. We got it in late last night. Um, Joe, you've probably sold, you're, you're normally a fifth wheel guy. I, I mean, at our dealership, you're the Montana guy. Um, you're that Sprinter fifth wheel guy. But I've been noticing lately you've been selling a lot of 311 Sprinter travel trailers. Why, why are families choosing this travel trailer? Well, Chad, the first reason is this is a great family floor plan. It has the two slides with the, the four bunk beds in the back. Uh, so it really opens up the rear, the rear bedroom on this for the kids. They have an entertainment style of area. They can sit and do a PlayStation. It's a room for clothes. It's, it's a very nice floor plan. I mean, I'm just standing in here. I noticed it's got the deep depth slides on it. Um, there's plenty of room in here, U-shaped U -shaped dinette, um, sofa. Tell us, you know, how many people does this trailer sleep? We've got a couple in the back, a couple here. I mean, we're going to sleep six, this, seven, eight, nine this, people. If you needed to sleep ten, this trailer will sleep ten. Okay. But, you know, you know, more, more realistically, probably eight would be very comfortably in here. Yeah. Uh, with a big U-shaped dinette that collapses to make a very nice bed for adults or for kids. Yeah, and I remember back, I know when we, we've been a Keystone dealer here, we're a Keystone exclusive dealer, but being a Keystone dealer for so long, the Sprinter was their flagship trailer, and it has been for a long, long time. It was their first product that Keystone started building, am I correct? Yeah, I, that's, what, that's, what I, that's what Keystone has told us, and we're, it is our number one selling trailer here at the dealership, so we sell a lot of them with that outside kitchen, which we'll get to in a little bit. Tell us, the construction of the Sprinter, why are people choosing Sprinter construction over brand, other different brands? Well, it's got the smooth fiberglass skin, which is very easy to clean. Also, this new 15th anniversary edition has a great new fiberglass front cap and new graphics, so it's very colorful on the outside. Uh, and you'll see that when we go out there. Uh, also, this is a traditional trailer with a two inch wall. A lot of trailers now are one and a half inch sidewalls. It is aluminum frame, so you get a little bit lighter building and, and stronger build, um, along with you know the easy to clean exterior. Uh, it's very streamlined looking. I know it's not an entry level by any means. When you look at it, it's got the fiberglass exterior. It's got the aluminum sidewall for weight savings. Um, you know, you compare that to something. Sim, you know, some other brands were still using metal sided trailers with aluminum studding. This is definitely sure. going to be a step up like that. Well, with the lamination, this also has a polar package on it. So the underbelly is fully sealed and enclosed. That way you can use it later in the year uh, and also earlier in the season as well. Yep. Tell us a little bit ducted air conditioning in here, it looks like. So. Yeah, this has a full ducted air conditioning system that you can also use the quick cool feature just by dumping it uh, on a real hot day. You can dump it right in your living area. Otherwise, you can push it throughout the coach where it's nice and even. Yeah, I know Stephen has <clears throat> curtains, there are doors that are closing off the master bedrooms and the bunk rooms in the rear. They do, so it does privatize the coach, you know, with a family sleeping type area, so. Yeah, then the big entertainment center here. I call it the entertainment area, you know, your your middle lounge area. Sure. You know, we got the bunks in the back, the queen bed up front here. It looks like they've gone to a bigger TV this year. They have, they, they've really changed this whole front TV cabinet. Uh, it does spin around into the bedroom in the evening. Uh, you know, when the kids go to bed and you want to watch sports late at night or whatever else. Yeah. Uh, you have your built-in DVD system is still here. But they have put a new glaze on all the cabinetry in this coach, and it looks I've, really, really nice. I've seen that, and I've noticed all the cabinets on the raised uppers. Those are all real hardwood cabinetry. Those are solid hardwood doors, and they're mortise and tenon put together. They're not just stapled in there, so yeah, uh, it's a good construction. It's definitely very, very sharp this year, and you can probably see it from the video, just the, you know, the reflection off the glaze cabinetry. It shows really, really nice. Um, countertops, we got residential style sinks in this. We got residential style we do. faucets. Uh, look at the next metal faucet. Uh, yeah. Single, um, single uh, faucet for your, uh, for your hot and cold water. Makes yep. it very easy to use. Just like the one I have at my house, which is wonderful. <clears throat> um, oven. I mean, we're all trailers are nowadays going to have ovens and refrigerators and showers. Uh, 750 and watt carousel microwave is, is in here. Okay, that's, yeah, well, that's a high output microwave mm -hmm. for sure also with drawers the drawers are very residential as well you can pull one all the way out they're on a metal rollerball bearing glide 
Yep. So they're very smooth, they're very strong. Yep, those are definitely going in and out easy. And you notice here, it does have those roller bearing slides on it. One thing we were just joking around with on the sofa, Joe, tell us, you know, reason people choose trailers like this is sleeping capacity, number one. Sure. Um, tell us about this air mattress you were just telling me about. Well, this is an air mattress hide-a-bed, so, so built, built into the back of that is an air mattress setup. So when you fold it out, you plug in the air mattress to the wall, it will make a queen sleeper sofa for you right there. It's very easy to do, and it's so much more comfortable than the old style of hide beds One thing I did notice here, tell, yeah, the storage underneath, which is something that's new to me. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Pillows, blankets, games, whatever you need, you have all kinds of extra storage underneath the couch for. It's on those same roller bearing yep. slides again, it's which nice is really indeed. nice. Absolutely. Um, we can go over, it's hard to see it in the video here, but we are also just chit-chatting about the amount of storage in this trailer. Mm -hmm. so in that U-shaped dinette, we've got storage both ends all the way around. Um, Besides having cup holders on each side, you have two places to get underneath the dinette, uh, two, two more cabinet doors, where you don't have to lift up the cushions and pull the tops off. Very simple, you can put, you know, your extra beverages, whatever else you need to put in there. Just another easy way to go camping. Yep. Uh, cloth blinds and all the windows on this, except by the this, this stove here, obviously for flame reasons. For safety but, reasons, sure. Yeah, but cloth blinds and all the windows, new too. These side windows do open up, so cross ventilation on a, you know, not a hot day, but a day when it's just kind of 75 degrees and you want to open up some windows and enjoy like the weather. Like most Keystone units, almost all your windows open up. Yeah. Uh, they make it easy to get a lot of ventilation. They don't want to light inside the coach. Tinted safety glass on all the windows, carbon monoxide detectors, smoke detectors, LP leak detectors, safety devices, fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Yeah. All there. Joe, Tell us a little bit, what, what is low-level lighting? And this trailer has it. We're not going to be able to catch it on video very easily, but just tell us what low-level lighting it is. It does have some small LED lights uh, placed around the bottom of the, of the floor of the camper. That way, when you're walking here on a real dark night, you're not tripping over stuff. Uh, it really helps guide your way into the coach, and that's just another... Really another safety feature that they put in I there. picture taking my nieces and nephews cam. It's kind of like a mini night light that you don't have well, to plug into an outlet. It's, yeah, it's no, probably we'll add perfect. a little bit of um, low-level lighting as well, just like you said. Yeah. Joe, trailers like this is going to probably have a good size fresh water tank for some dry camping. It's something we can put a battery on if we want to go to a state park. Sure. Um, it's fully self-contained. Okay. Um, other 50 than, gallons, I want to say. 50, 50 gallons, gallons of fresh, of fresh water. water. Yeah. Nice. And we have that enclosed underbelly, like you said, so we get that extended camper sure. season. Uh, electric awning on this. It's got all the bells and whistles. Electric awning, outside grill. Um, Full outside cook station, which you'll see on the outside when we go out there. Refrigerator. It's got cabinets. It's got a sink. Um, it's got a gas grill and a two burner stove. Uh, so if you want to, you can cook everything out there. You don't even have to come inside the coach. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, let's go from there and uh, definitely, definitely sharp here on the inside. Even that new wall board looks really, really nice here with the glaze and the cabinetry. As Joe pointed out earlier, this trailer is a bunkhouse dream. We got four separate sleeping beds and a private bedroom where you've got room not only to sleep here, but it's also room to kick back and relax, maybe play a few games, watch some TV. we got table TV hookup back here. Um, this trailer is full of unique features, and that's why it is our number one selling floor plan in the bunkhouse model. we got on these mattresses here, you can see the quilted tops on them. Those are the uh, the Beautyrest brand. It's, it's a very, very nice brand. This bed pushes up, so if you do just want to hang out on the bottom mattress, watch a little TV, plenty of room. Bigger bunks. And they do hold the adult size or 300 pound capacity on all of the bunk beds on here so even adults can sleep in here if you're a nascar fan you can bring this to the races and sleep all your buddies the trundle bed on the bottom which you can see here that has a bunch of sleeping capacity too so at night you just push it in um, excuse me you pull it out during the day when you're not using it you can just push it back in the sprinter brand definitely sleeps a lot of people and it gives you a lot of room and plus when you want to have dinner you don't have to pick everything off that kitchen table every night you can leave your games and stuff right back here in this area.